press the bell icon on the YouTube app and never miss another update. Israel's largest defense contractor is looking to expand its presence in India by teaming up with domestic majors. Israeli Aerospace Industries Executive Vice President told that the company was proud to work on the development of the LRSAM, Long Range Surface to Air Missile Defense System, together with the DRDO, which is a long term cooperation product. The official also added that the company was looking forward to rolling out its unmanned aerial vehicles within the next two years, of a deal being finalized. India continues to be a key market for the company's unmanned aerial vehicles, like Heron, and Harap UAVs. The company is set to accelerate the process to supply, the other air and missile defense systems to India. The scene is set for the creation, of a giant defense contractor in Europe, and the Asia-Pacific region could soon become its favorite market. Italian shipbuilder Fincantieri, and its French competitor Naval Group, have started discussing the terms of a possible alliance, and their transformation into a single naval defense company. India, is the prime focus of Fincantieri and Naval Group. The French defense company wants to build, six new conventionally powered submarines, for the Indian Navy, under Project 75I, which is worth 12 billion dollars. Naval Group has already designed and built, in tandem with Indian Mazagin Dock Limited, two Scorpion class submarines, while another four are currently under construction. Mazagin Dock Limited is also teaming up with Fincantieri to build seven stealth frigates for India's Project 17A. The Italian shipbuilder's contribution to the development of these vessels is limited to technical advice and assistance. The case for two more follow-on Falcon UACs for India, in a deal with Russia and Israel, remains stuck due to sharp cost escalation. According to sources, the government is ready to pay about $800 million for the two UACs, and not the $1.3 billion being demanded by the original equipment manufacturers. Though the Defense Ministry has approved the indigenous project, worth 5,113 crore rupees, under which 360 degree coverage indigenous radars, are to be mounted, on Airbus A330, wide-body jets, but the contract is yet to be inked. Pakistan and China, have made them a top military priority. Pakistan has seven such platforms, with the Chinese Karakoram Eagle, being the latest inductions. China, has well over 20 OX, including the latest KJ500s.